the secret to understanding the workflowy Kanban calendar would be to compare it to the tickler file. This is what a physical tickler file looks like. As you can see, the tickler file was patented way back in 1888. It was originally a system of physical folders, one for each day of the month ahead, allowing one to file documents to a future date on which they needed to be acted upon. These documents could be to-do lists, bills to pay, upcoming birthdays, coupons, follow-up reminders, etc. Each day, the folder with today's date is pulled from the tickler file and any documents within it are brought into one's workflow. Basically, what a tickler file does is it allows you to set up a manual, hands-on reminder for future tasks, which will stream towards you one day at a time. Setting up a tickler file in Workflowy does not quite replace an actual calendar. So why keep two calendars? I mean, a calendar calendar as well as a tickler file. Here's an example of my weekly evening teaching schedule from about two years back. We all know that a traditional calendar is perfect for scheduling time-specific tasks. On the other hand, most calendars are limited when it comes to having a holding space for a to-do list of items that are date-specific, yet not time-specific. You see, we don't want to have to schedule every single item into our calendar when we neither know how long it'll take to complete each, nor when exactly the best time would be to focus on each, especially days or weeks in advance. So, a tickler file, besides holding documents, whether physical or digital, serves as a roundup of your life's miscellaneous tasks. So that's the why. Now, here's the how. The how is really embarrassingly simple. So, from my homepage, let's go along to my Kanban calendar. At the top of my calendar outline, I've got my Eisenhower matrix. I'm going to pull some tasks into here in a bit. Now, further down, you can see I've set up a chronological list of dates for February and March. All I really need are the next 30 days, just like with the tickler file. I'm going to go ahead and change the date on my Eisenhower matrix. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull all of the items from Thursday into my Eisenhower matrix. Now, just give me a second while I group these items according to importance and urgency. Here's a little CSS trick that allows me to use a tag to get two columns. Ordinarily, the Eisenhower matrix would show as a quadrant, one, two, three, four. But for now, we're going to stick to a linear format. Actually, I prefer this. Now, let's come over here and delete this date so that the next day up is Friday the 24th. And right at the top here, we've got Thursday the 23rd. I have a lot of recurring tasks that repeat weekly or monthly, so I simply recycle the tasks from my Eisenhower matrix once I'm done. I have to make sure that I have enough money in my PayPal account each 23rd of the month to pay for my Squarespace subscription. And then every Thursday, I try to do a bit of yoga with the P90X program. So let's recycle these quickly because I'm done with them. Many of my tasks are color-coded with a tag that means something to me, and then some of them form categories. For example, if I hit this blue P90X tag, you can see how the P90X workout routine is spread out. And then if I hit my expense tag, I'll get a list of my general expenses spread out throughout the month. The Kanban calendar really shines when it comes to personal miscellaneous tasks. Even if you prefer to use date tags to consolidate your project tasks, at the very least I recommend having a Kanban calendar 
for personal miscellaneous to-do items. At the moment, I actually have a second Kanban calendar set up. I use this one for things related to the Workflowy Academy. Here you can see I've scheduled a webinar for February 23rd. Also notice how I've included a tag as part of the date, February 22nd, February 23rd, 24th, etc. I'm experimenting with using date tags as a way to filter for specific dates across my main Kanban calendar and any other calendars for specific projects like this one. Here on my home page, tucked away in a list at the bottom, I have a date tag index. I've arranged a set of date tags by month, just like a calendar. Let's click on Tuesday, 28th of February. Here's my general Kanban calendar, and here's my Workflowy Academy Kanban calendar. I could now zoom in on either of them, but let me expand the two lists instead. Now I can see all tasks scheduled for next Tuesday. The one outstanding side effect of having a Kanban calendar is that you can literally say goodbye to lists of backlogged tasks. If you cannot or don't want to deal with any number of tasks right now, instead of putting them into a list somewhere, you can push them to the future really easy. That's the advantage of having a tickler file. Let's zoom into this version of my general Kanban calendar. This one has date tags set up. So let's say I'm having a rough time today. I could just take these three tasks here and move them to tomorrow. Or I could just move them to next month sometime. It's just like hitting the snooze button or snoozing an email. You can then give these tasks your attention at a better time. By the way, this and other similar dynamics make this a Kanban calendar. Here we draw on the Kanban principles of pushing and pulling so that we can limit our work in progress and focus on the most important things right now. And of course, Workflowy does a bang up job of letting us visualize our workflow.